You can, can we use one of your umbrella? Here's some more little confession. I get it. I'll be here for confession. We're, we're here today to pick blueberries for our Ora at Labora group for uh, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church. We brought 43 teens out here, I think 43 or 41. I'll count them before we go back. Um, just to get an idea of the country, to get the feel and the taste of a blueberries and a blueberry field, to enjoy the outside even though it's hot, and to really build the community up in faith, hope, and love. That's why we're here today. Oh, I dropped one. Yep. Ora et labora is a Benedictine motto that I stole from the Benedictine Mount Angel monks when I was a seminarian there. Ora means prayer, et means and, and labora means work. So ora et labora is prayer and work. So all day, um, my teens come from all over Aloha, Hillsboro, Beaverton, the, my parishioners and some not my parishioners, start at 7 in the morning with Liturgy of the Hours and Mass. And then this week in the morning, our labora, our work, is working with Vacation Bible School kids. And then we come back and eat, and then we do an aura, our prayer, uh, midday prayer, Liturgy of the Hours, Angelus. And then now we're out into the field doing labora, and then we're going to go back into the church later and do our evening prayer. And then tonight we're going to watch um, St. Paul the Apostle, the movie, and do night prayer, Compline from Liturgy of the Hours, and then I'm going to send them home to take showers and sleep and come back the next day. In fact, every day I ask them, uh, how is their day? Although they were tired, they still come back. I, and I always ask them at the end of the day, are you coming back tomorrow? And almost all of them say yes. Um, um, spending time with friends, getting to know each other. Getting blueberries. Getting blueberries, tasting the I yummy water. blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> getting tanned. Yep. <laughs> 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 what are you going to do with your blueberries? Eat them, eat them. Make blueberry pie or ice cream. You don't even know, you know how to make that, bro. Come on. <laughs> I mean, like, bro, come on. In fact, we started with 12 three years ago, and now we're up to 41, 42, 43. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. So they That's just huge. keep coming back. It's fun, yeah. but like, it's just really hot. Yeah. yeah. What do you um, What do you think you're getting out of it, being here right now? Berries. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're bonding, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we're just talking about Mexican music. <laughs> um, they're learning how to pray. They're meeting new friends. They're becoming part of the local church. So not just part of the parish church, but also part of the Archdiocesan Church. We did a church tour um, yesterday. Went to visit St. Uh, Francis of Assisi. And then in the past, we've gone to visit different religious orders. We went to Mount Angel and saw the, both the sisters and the, and the monks. Um, we visited the Sisters St. Mary's of Oregon, for example, had dinner with them, prayer with them um, in the different times. I think they're getting more out of it than, than we know. This is a safe space for them to come out and play and pray and be with one another and share their experiences. Uh, it's something different. They're not getting this in, from the school or from home. Uh, this is very unique. So it, I see the kids just laughing uh, when it's time to pray, they do it, uh, but then come out and just like have some fun. Um, they're not at home, watching TV, playing video games, knowing, doing things that they might not, <laughs> they, they shouldn't be doing, but uh, so this is a great space.